Welcome once again to Anatomy and Physiology with Dr. Wren at Glen Oaks Community College. Um, for this short video I'd like to show you the anatomy of this skin model. This is the largest skin model in the lab and it's actually representing three different types of skin. On this side this is supposed to be thick skin. In the middle is the skin you might find in the axillary region under your armpit or in your groin. And then on the right hand side is uh, regular thin skin, the kind you might see on the back of your hand or on your arm or leg. Let's uh, go through the layers of skin in the thick skin model. Stratum corneum, stratum lucidum in white, stratum granulosum in kind of a pinkish orange color, stratum spinosum, and then stratum basal and you can see the um, dermal papilla, the kind of ridginess to the stratum basal. Um, major layers, epidermis, dermis, subcutaneous down at the bottom with the adipose tissue. Receptors for the thick skin, here's a Meissner's corpuscle or tactile corpuscle and there's another one over here on the edge and then we have Pacinian corpuscles sensing pressure got layers like an onion again and here we have free nerve endings and free nerve endings once again they sense heat or temperature change and they sense some um, pain I think that's it for receptors um, Eccrine sweat gland with the duct going up to the skin surface. Eccrine sweat gland over here on the thinner skin with the duct going up to the surface. This model is the only one that has an apocrine sweat gland. And you would find these in the axillary region in the armpit or in the groin. They're a larger sweat gland, they produce a more oily sweat, and they produce that sweat into the hair follicle so that that sweat can actually be carried up the hair shaft. Um, among other possible things, the type of sweat that's produced here um, contains pheromones, so we kind of use it for communication, for sexy communication of smell. I think that I've exhausted this model well enough. Oh, except for the back. If I flip it over, we've got the degrees of burn. Whoops. All the way on this end, we've got um, first degree burn just the epidermis is affected. On this part of the model we've got second degree burning. You can see blistering here. The epidermis is destroyed and the dermis is affected. And then on the last one we see third degree burn, a blackening of the skin, the epidermis is destroyed, the dermis is destroyed and we're affecting the subcutaneous tissues. So that pretty much sums up this model. Thanks again for watching and uh, make sure you've seen the other videos on skin models.